Howdy folks, today we have another kit for you, this is from Airfix, this is their brand new uh, 148 Orca Hurricane, this is part of their Battle of Britain series, uh, I think they're doing because it's the anniversary of the Battle of Britain this year. Um, this is the Hurricane, uh, it's not a brand new tooling, the tooling was done in 2015 but this is just basically uh, new decals, but the uh, previous Hurricanes. This is pretty much going to be the same, it's just new new decals. But um, as I say, typical of Airfix, nice box art. I do like their designs on the front. Um, let's take a look what we get in the box. Uh, you got this side of the box. You have this side, kit number A05127A. There are two marking options, AALK, which is in the camouflage version, and I do know later on it got designated to a night fighter, so they painted it black. Uh, this one is from the Polish. Um, quite famous aircraft, I think that's the Polish leader, squadron leader, lead, lead, leader. Oh, markings. Yeah, the top opening box. Everything stuffed, <coughs> stuffed into one bag. You got your markings and your decals. So here's your worksheet. A little bit of history on the aircraft. So we first step you put your seat in against your backrest the uh, wing spars part of the inside of the cockpit which is like a cage framing making sure it's a 90 degree angle it's like so it's square and then working on the floor the red segments is what you've previously done so you know where you are um, savaging it onto the wing spars two more structural parts then your flight stick going in And then repeating the process on the other side of the uh, other side of the uh, cage cockpit, dropping your seat down. Don't forget to put the oxygen bottle in. Uh, putting your cheesy pilot in if you wish to do so. And then you're working on the undercarriage structural parts. Don't forget to drill out the two holes if you're having a stand. Two more structural parts and then don't forget to paint on the inside the gun bays if you're having the guns open uh, if you're not then don't worry Sam dropping down that assembly that you just built two headlamps going in and then cutting open the wings if you're having the guns exposed or visible or showing if you're not then don't worry about that step working on your gun assembly ammunition boxes two structural parts two more structural parts like angles that hold the uh, guns in place left and right so you're repeating the process but again if you're not having your machine gun showing then you don't worry about this step at all but I would still recommend putting these structural parts in though like it shows here sandwiching the two wings together open or closed versions for the guns and then one side of your fuselage half painting the inside interior green a couple of dolls need painting probably instrument panel would be decals you can go the aftermarket route it's totally up to you firewall and then sandwiching the two halves together and then strangely you're dropping the fuselage down on top of the wings. Your front nose going on, the rear of the aircraft, flaps in posable or fixed position, which is a nice touch, left and right. And you've got your back wings, flaps, ailerons, rudder, etc. Um, and then you have the uh, radiator system going in, open or closed. Uh, 
landing gear in the up position if you have an in flight if you have a landing gear down then it's left and right segments for the arms your wheels going in at two piece a little bit of cleanup should be okay again there's probably aftermarket you can change it all out if you wish to do so exhaust system and you've got your propeller spinner prop nose cone whatever you like to call it which is nicely done your gun sight going in canopy going down open or closed putting the two lights in and turn signals I think they're called and then you have in the hatches open don't forget to display them on the floor or just leave them by the side of the aircraft when you're ready for paint, you have, the, you have the first marking option, um, the Polish squadron, Royal Air Force, England, September 17th, 1940, like I mentioned, I think this is the Polish squadron leader, and then you have this one here, England, Dover, which is literally 20 minutes, half an hour drive for me, 1940s. Again, this is quite another famous one. And then this aircraft got designated to a night fighter later on, which is in black. I will show you a picture. Here's your nice decals. Printed in Italy, I'm not sure if they use cardograph, I imagine they will do. Nicely in colour, nicely in register. You do have the uh, piece for the uh, propeller, but me, I'll probably paint, paint that on and stuff. So now we have one giant bag, typical of Airfix. I'm never a fan of it doing this way unless it's tightly packed. But parts can get broken, shift around, rub, etc. Brand new kits should be pretty alright if you buy them straight away, but if they get handled around and passed on several times then it could be a little bit of an issue we'll look at the glass in a minute so here's your wings objective pins on the inside you're not going to see that because this is I wish they wouldn't have done that though, because this segment here is going to correspond if you're having the hatches cut out, so it's going to require a little bit of cleanup if you're having the hatches open. That one jet to pin could have been moved down the bottom here. But again, that's okay, I'm having them closed, I'm not going to bother opening them up. Nice detail, rivets in certain places, not covered in complete rivets. Um, but that's how airfix do theirs. The rudder, the uh, back firewall for the seat, and there's another piece there. The lower wing surfaces, nice panel lines, a little bit of out of scale, in my opinion, compared to some other kits out there and stuff and but it, you can get it get away with it once it's done up you don't have to be it's not too picky about it but it's nice i like it once you've done all your paint and weathering it all blends in nicely anyway 
landing gear doors there's that landing gear well inside segment uh, wheel well it's nice detail some of the flaps these are the wing spars for structural integrity another rudder there's your two piece wheels nothing fancy just plain old bald wheels so this this segment here is all the uh, detail parts so there's your f uh, bottom of the aircraft just the uh, where you rest your feet and stuff the floor the chin piece part of the radiator system part of your seat system pedals fine detail parts pitot tubes there's those structural parts for the uh, gun section another radiator oxygen box ammo boxes aerial yeah gg pilot the mefix landing gear more structural chin pieces um it wheel segments inserts the tail dragger wheel part of the propeller system some more wheels there uh, weight on wheels which is a nice touch actually um, two type of nose cones you've got a pointy one and a uh, round one and um, they do this so they can make uh, several variants on them um, yeah across slight slight differences so they can get um more uses out of the mold uh, machine gunners I think they're brown ends if not mistaken exhaust system not drilled out on the ends but a um, little bit of drilling out should be alright uh, more radi radiator covers nice detail on the cockpit there's probably uh, decals to go for that We have the main fuselage halves again. I think the detail is pretty good. We're right down to the wooden segment of the back of the aircraft because the back of the aircraft was made of wood, and then the rest of it around the cockpit was metal. So it's a hybrid between the two. And then you got the two tail fins. This is the one that you be using. Like this one here has got the resto hook segment, so you can uh, do the aircraft carrier version. Two top of propellers, um, not sh sure which one you're using, but you're using one of these. I can't remember which one it is. Then you've got your two pieces for your cockpit assembly for the cage frame flaps. Again, you have to put them together. Here's your clear segments. I think they're pretty good, clear, pretty good. If you can find a canopy mask to help you with uh, doing it, or you can do it yourself. Clarity and clearness is alright. It's going to be a little bit blurry on top because it's a curved surface. I, I think they're pretty clear. I think they're alright. You've got the front one, crystal clear in the centre. So you've got some headlamps. There's your gun sight. I always find uh, clear parts to show on camera quite tricky to the uh, show. there you go guys there's another kit from airfix 148 scale hawker hurricane mark one from the battle of britain series is due to come out like comment subscribe and i'll catch you later